My name is Dan Scheffelman. I'm a professor of illustration here at FIT. One of the things that we wanted to do is introduce these students to the idea of public art. Um, you know, they've been in school, they're kind of used to doing their assignments and turning them in and nobody sees them and now it's the idea that everybody sees them. Um, it, raised, it raised the bar for them. Well, it's about the students, it's about the school, um, it's about the department, the illustration department. And um, certainly for the students to kind of get out there and, and put their work out there on a busy New York Avenue, as 7th Avenue is. It's public, public display. The buses bring crowds to us. Um, all the people who work around here go up and down 7th Avenue. People walk into the New York Times who work there. I mean, the idea is just to, you know, all the social media that's coming out of it. People are, and right now apparently it's just exploding on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. All my evil plan, but I didn't know quite how it would work, you know. These are seniors and they are just promoting their own ideas. Uh, their own work. That's what this class is about. Uh, they're at the end of their four-year run, so it's time to pull it together. On pieces that are, I guess, relating to like Halloween witch yeah, stuff that's happening. I don't know. Mine isn't really like an exact scene, but I'm doing like a decorative piece with like just a witch with like the sun underneath her and the sun exploding out of her cheeks and everything. Kind of weird. It's just like um, it's a witch uh, <laughs> or something shooting uh, lasers out of her eyes, and uh, her skin is melting off, so it's just kind of. A skull too and there's gonna be a little skeleton catching the melting skin which is probably gonna be like a gross like uh, green color so pretty much I guess I want people to feel repulsed um, that's a good feeling it's but it, it's at the same time it's it's a little it's colorful and it's uh, I don't know it's, it's going somewhere I'm kind of just doing it as I as I go along so just perfect timing for Halloween so that's kind of the you know, Thing that I'm kind of shooting for. Yeah, people enjoy the Halloween theme. I'm Allison. I'm Catherine. Our mural is animals in various Halloween costumes, so we're just celebrating the upcoming holiday. Uh, we really want to promote like children getting more into art, so we're using a children's style, putting the animals into costumes. And we're using bright colors to grab attention, and we're just hoping to make, I guess, people happy and excited for Halloween. Yeah. I'm Adam Beaumont, um, so this is a mural that I've been working on. I've just been working on these kind of cyclops, uh, skeletal creatures that um, kind of have, the, they live in their own world, so uh, they're very, very dark, very mysterious, and they kind of uh, have this one vision, one eye, so it's got a lot of, <laughs> got a lot of dirt on me from today, but we've been working out here since about like 8 a.m., so like maybe 8.30 or so, so I haven't really been keeping track of time, so I don't even know what time it is right now, but um, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying the process. We just, uh, they gave us a theme. They wanted us to kind of go along with something a little bit more Halloween-like. Um, if not that, then they said we can kind of go off an adventure and do what we wanted to do, but I wanted to kind of stick with the holiday theme because I'm a big Halloween fan, so I, I thought that the um, comic series that I'm working on kind of did well with this, so 
My name's Liz Young. This is my work. I pretty much, I'm just winging it. I'm just making it up as I go along. Um, we were all supposed to have sketches, but I didn't have time. So I just got here and I'm just kind of like, whatever. Um, I draw faces a lot, so it just kind of happened. Like, uh, I'm basically just doing what I do so in a sketchbook. Like, when you get your idea, I just find it. Yeah, yeah. it just comes out by itself. I don't really, I didn't think about it. Because that's when it kind of gets ruined, I think, when you think about it. I didn't really know the point. I was like, okay, so we're going to draw outside and it's cold and I, I didn't know that they were going to be this big either. I thought we were just going to be drawing on the, on the floor. So I was a little confused, but um, I think it's a really good thing because a lot of times people don't know what FIT really is about and a lot of times when I tell people that I'm taking illustration at FIT, they think I'm doing fashion illustration. So I think it's good to show that there's more of a fine art aspect to illustration here. And the FIT has more than just fashion courses, so it's kind of cool. My name is Ryan Futterman. Um, I'm a huge fan of owls. I've liked owls since I was a little kid. What I'm trying to get is just uh, a really bold statement of just like tattoos, tattoo culture, and I like the bold colors and the bold line, and that's what I was going for my piece. I just want the audience to really be gripped by it. I want them to be moved by the color. I want them to notice the boldness and just feel happy. That's why I picked the light colors. This my attention. Be yeah, because the colors, yeah, the colors in the on the perfect everything is everything is margin and perfect. At least they can give you message to the young people, even to the old people, you know, and and, and show how much basically in New York how much we have uh, art. Karen Alarcon. This is my uh, piece in chalk. Um, this is basically uh, it's supposed to be uh, Argentinian tegu, but I threw some of my own colors on it. I want it to be like kind of menacing, but at the same time approachable. Like you want to come and look at it, I guess. Because he's cute, but dangerous, basically. I got here at three, so I've been like slaving away trying to get it done. <laughs> at first I was like, no. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to work, but then as I got my idea, I got into it, and now I'm really excited. Is this your first time been, uh, been to outside for the public? Yes, definitely. So, I mean, it's good for us who's graduating to have our work put out there. I'm Elizabeth Colantoni. I just, I like drawing animals, especially antelopes and deer and stuff. I'm just kind of layering them on top of each other to kind of make them transparent and opaque in different places. And a couple years ago, over the summer, I went to the Bronx Zoo to draw and I drew this kind of animal and I thought I would bring those drawings back and kind of redo that project. I'm a uh, illustration sophomore who uh, goes to FIT. That's about it. Yep. I'm Laura Foster. I'm also an illustration major here at FIT, and I'm a sophomore as well. It's great. It's a good way to get publicity for the department at FIT and just to share our art. Yeah, and the, a lot of students are, um, you know, there's a lot of excitement, and a lot of students are putting like their websites and their own info in there, so it's a great way to get graduating seniors like out there so they can start getting work. So I think that's really 
good. Cool. Also, chalk is fun, so. <laughs> I like the more geometric ones, but the one exception is I really like this one that Elizabeth's doing. It's really painterly, and it's got these nice animals on it. Like, it, it doesn't necessarily look like chalk, like, you know, the more finished one she's doing, so I like it. Yeah. Um, hello, my name is Juan Sekcha. I started to do this piece, which uh, is just um, a girl with a tattoo and highlights. Since I, that's the, well, those are my type of girls, so <laughs> these days, you know, art do what you love when it comes to art. Yes. I love that, so that's what I did. Uh, so yeah, this is my first time I'm doing this. Uh, in fact, uh, first I was kind of messing up, but it was a learning experience as when went along. I learned uh, more methods, like for example, wetting the wall first and then laying the chalk and then rubbing it. Or just making a paste and uh, like as you can see here. I made a little uh, rubble, then I used it as ink for the eyes and stuff like that with brush. So yeah, you, you know, I was learning as along. Uh, what was your first impression when the professor told you guys to do this? Thing? I hated it. Because <laughs> I, I was, um, we had to buy the supplies, and so uh, I was like, I expected it to be a little costly, but actually it was actually pretty cheap. Uh, I actually got the materials, because I pre-selected the colors. I didn't just buy random colors, I actually pre-selected the red, the green and I bought them on stock, so they were actually pretty cheap. But at first I was scared, I was like, oh god, my wallet's gonna start bleeding, like like the walls in The Shining. Oh man, but yeah, no, I'm happy now. My name's Hannah Chusid. Well, the thing is that everyone talks about The Walking Dead. Nobody shuts up about Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus is still in the news after all this time, you know, with the VMA incident. And because Halloween is coming up, she's now a zombie. It's like always seeing Miley Cyrus on the internet was driving me crazy. So I decided to draw her as a zombie because I mean like I am known for like horror and macabre work and so people know me for like on the internet for like my zombie work so not like taking a really big public figure and turning her into a zombie would just be like funny and creepy and <laughs> It's really fascinating because if you if you just went go by FIT, um, normally you don't know exactly what the students are doing here. Um, they studying fashion. What's that all about? You know? Um, are they studying to to how to make clothes or what is it all? And so this is a wonderful uh, opportunity uh, to make it to make to make this public, to make everybody see. What the students are doing, yeah, and um, wonderful to bring art out of the building to to the people, yeah. So this is a wonderful idea. I've never seen this before. I've been a couple of times here in New York. I've never seen this, like uh, people painting and drawing outside of the building. We may we make another photograph of of the twerking dead. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That Which is. It looks awesome. That is and, awesome. Uh, She's great as well, eh? Mm -hmm. She's on our photo now. Uh, and we, we want to take the photos with us uh, to our classes in uh, art school in Germany because we want our students to see it. Because it's, this is unbelievable, yeah? Uh, the whole building uh, of the FIT is, is, is painted with these murals. Perfect. Um, I like a few of them. I really like this one because it reminds me of my friends. I like this one because it reminds me of me. Um, yeah, these are it's just really cool. It's cool to see uh, wall art. New York City used to be all about graffiti and the graffiti artists. And I know this is not really graffiti, but this definitely stands out as uh, street art. So it's good to see something on a wall. It's a sense of freedom. It's a sense of liberation and creative expression. It's something that New York will always have, but it has less and less of. The hill, the, the people more and uh, <laughs> not happy uh, here. Um, people say hi, hello. No? Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> I like them.
I, I think that uh, now the, the, the artists need a push no? or, or to make uh, to the people know it. No? Because many artists are underground or no, are, are not recognized for the people. Oh, graffiti art. Yeah, the, the graffiti or the, the public artists. No? The face of the, of the girl and this, this face with the hand. Bomb. It's strong. It's, 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 it's like, um, like I don't know. It's uh, an expression very, very heavy. It's like the, um, the esclavitude, or uh, you know, when the, the prostitution or the you know, yeah, the underground prostitution, uh -huh. or things like that. Well, it'll depend on the weather. If it doesn't rain, it could stay up all forever you know if it rains it'll maybe wash a little bit and I would like to just see it deteriorate over time they'll hopefully stay as long as they can but inevitably they will either be washed off or wear off I think the wash off is going to happen first at some point maintenance will come with a power wash you know but I'm gonna persuade them hopefully to let it you know it's almost like an art concept let the weather make its own mark on it and just see where it goes it'll, it'll it, if it drips I think it'll look great you know I'm sort of Sort of doing that over there, letting it drift. And so it's very exciting. I hope they this continue. I'm hoping, as far as I think, I think they're going to keep doing it, and I definitely want to do it. Definitely, this should for the next for the seniors of the semester. <laughs> for the foreseeable future, definitely. This will be a. They deserve it. They deserve it. This is a fun activity. This is a very fun activity. It's productive. And it gets you out there, you know, people ask you, you know, what's your website and stuff like that. Yes, it's very productive. So, uh, yeah, I would recommend uh, juniors uh, for to continue for the senior program. So, yeah, definitely. I think, we I think we should do it every year. Yeah. So, what about the other schools? I mean, they should follow their rules? The what? Other schools? They should follow their rules? Yeah, their school should do it. Yeah, everybody should do it, I think. There's a lot of people in New York City, and I think we should take advantage of that. Yeah. The Dean of Students just came up to me and said, You've just earned yourself a spot in the uh, homecoming every year. We're going to pay for it. And what we're doing next year, a lot of other departments have come up to me and said, textile design, why can't we do this? I'm like, well, why can't you? So I think next year, hopefully we're going to circum circumscribe the entire building.